Oh, well, hello there, YouTube. How the f are you today? Remnant Records has now released on Steam, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. Remnant Records is a one to four player horror investigation game. The goal is to explore various locations, find clues about what happened to the ghost leading up to their final moments in life. Once you've worked out all the clues, you can add various unique items for that ghost specific story to the exorcism table. Once all of these items are gathered from the air, the exorcism will begin. The exorcisms do take a bit of time, but there are a lot of things you can do for each specific ghost type to speed up the process. The game of course is new, so at this specific time it is currently sporting 3 maps, 4 ghost types with all of their own unique playstyles to go against, 5 difficulty levels for figuring out the clues, 5 aggression levels of the ghosts, a voice recognition where the ghost will listen to your voice during hunts and try and find you, 4 classes as a player character that you can choose from as Cartomancer, a medium, electrician and a muscle head which all have their own unique perks and abilities and thousands of potential item combinations from the clues so i hope you enjoy this video with a bit of the gameplay if you do like it please drop a like a comment and subscribe it all helps me out massively and if you want to see live gameplay head over to twitch.tv forward slash magroku while we explore and learn more of the game one last little thing to add i am now partnered with rogue energy so if you like your energy drink supplements then look down in the about section, follow my link, use code MAGO for 20% off. Alright, let's get into the video. I feel like I heard the ghost straight away. I could be wrong, I thought I heard the ghost. So I'm currently playing as a medium. So as you can see, it gives you some sort of points of interest. We're still trying to learn all of that. Oh, there you go, the ghost is there. But it also gives you the location of said ghost. I can hear the ghost, so it's a runner. Which means I've got to be a sneaky boy. You can hear it growling constantly. We know it's somewhere there. There he is, on the other side of the wall. So we know not to go there for now. Oh, did not mean to turn it off. So we can kind of ignore him. We can go up this way, see what's around. See if we can find any notes, get some lights on. There's a lot of background noise, very ambient. Uh, we've got a lighter, we've got a boat, ashtray. I've never yet found anything upstairs in the attic. Very limited lighting in the attic as well. Clock, that's a mannequin. Ahem. Some roses. Okay, well, there's, there's really nothing in the attic currently. The bonus is you can use mirrors as well to spot things out. <coughs> Excuse me. Mirrors are very helpful. If you've got the, the ghosts that are hiding behind you, we've got olive oil, some orange soda, and some fish. Pretty sure none of those are going to be relevant. I mean, they can be. Every item can be a possible combination, but at the moment, we're just going to assume that they're not relevant. Haven't found any notes, which is not good. Got a toy dog. Ugh, creepy doll. Painting. Please, door open. Door! Door, do as you're told! Trying to make use of being a medium to see if I can spot where the uh, the ghost is as well. Sadly not. All right, we've got two potential notes here, so let's have a look. Serial killer still at large. Last night, the body of ben Benicio Collins was found near Rock's End. Please, uh, well, please believe he may be another victim of the Rock's End butcher, who has claimed at least five lives in the last two years. Eyewitnesses are urged to contact the police in order to help with the case. Okay, I feel like that hasn't given me a clue. Is this a joke? All his belongings are gone, as if he's just been, uh, as, a, uh, as if this had all been just a dream. No, this was a nightmare. You want out? Go. I deserve better than you, and you'll never find anyone else. Seems it's time for me to go. I'd say I left quite a mark, but is it enough? No, I'm not done. I know I'm going to go out in fireworks. I'm not letting anyone forget about me just yet. Once again, I feel like that hasn't given me a clue as to what it is. Got some pills. Pills are very commonly one of the options from what I've seen. I 
keep hearing him growl and I don't know where from. We'll, we'll be coming across the uh, runner very soon though. We will have to bump into him very shortly to go downstairs. At this current point as well, there are four ghost types. So there's the mannequin, the orphan, the runner, and oh god, what was the other one? The shusher. That was it. Okay, I feel like I didn't get any clues. And not enough clues. The shusher, you're not allowed to look at it. Otherwise, that gets it really angry. The runner is just about being quiet. So there is a voice recognition. There he is. There's a. Oh god, he heard me. So, crouch. There is a voice recognition. I've got it on push to talk at the moment, so he's not listening for that. But if he hears my footsteps, he'll start following those. I am crouching. I'm hoping that he does ignore me. Okay, yeah, he is actually ignoring me. He's just making his way down this way. That's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. You go that way. Can you open the doors? <gasps> oh, that's good to know. Any notes here? That would be great. Let's get the doors open. Got some more coffee. Yeah, I really feel at this point we haven't got any <laughs> any guidance as to what we're looking for, which is unfortunate. Chopping boards, more tin stuff. Can't go out the back door. We need to go directly where he is right now. I'm going to make some noise over here and then crouch my way around here. There we go. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, I made a mistake. I uh, shouldn't have stood up, but that's fine. You get a couple of attempts where he can hit you. He's off, so that's fine. We, we're safe for now. We are safe for now. That wasn't good. I need to be a bit more careful so we don't use the other life up. We've got a notepad. We've got a paintbrush. The plan there was valid. Make him move where you want him, but I stood up way too early. Okay, we've got another note here. Hopefully this gives me something. Uh, this feels unreal. They sent me to a mental hospital. Hold on. So uh, stay in here safe. Sent me to a mental hospital. Take me for some fucking crazy person. Just because I'm not the same as them. I want to get away from here right now. I don't enjoy doing anything anymore. My doc told me it's depression. Depression normally leads to it being pills as an option. Uh, I feel like laughing at me. I know what it is. I found the only thing that makes my heart beat and everything else seemed dull in comparison. All right, now I'm craving it hard. The thrill of knowing they'll never know it's me, but they'll keep hearing about me. They'll be so scared thinking they're next. So I'm guessing the knife is part of it now that I've spotted that because it does sound like they are a serial killer. So I feel like the knife is going to be part of the evidence. Maybe some pills. Okay. There's our exile, uh, exorcism table. I do feel like pills is part of it, but I would need to confirm that. Uh, nothing else around. We'll take the pills. As far as I can see, those are the only two potential clues that I got from all of that. There might have been more. A lot of it does come down to experimenting, figuring out combinations, figuring out what works and such. Okay. Apparently there is a clue there or something, but... Alright, we're going to try this. Let's see if this is an answer. <sighs> It's part of the answer. So we've got two white rings, so that means we've got two items correct. Or oh, they blue, sorry. Two. Oh, they are white. Oh. Okay, buddy, calm down. All right, buddy, calm down. Oh, right, he's he's a bit angry. He's going to be running around a bit, so we're just going to try and dodge him best we can. We've got to figure out what the other items are. So we've got to go find the notes again. Give them another little read. You can tell when it's hunting also. That portal goes red. And when it goes blue, you're safe. And by safe, I mean until you've wound them up again. Okay, let's have another little read. So we know it's a murderer. If you get blue items or blue rings on there, you know for a fact, spot on. 
those items are perfect. If you get white, which I believe these are blue, it's kind of kind of hard to tell when it's up against the wall. If you get white, you basically they are part of it, but they're not necessary items. If they're red, then they're completely wrong. So let's think what else there could be. We know the pills based on depression. That's fine. We know the knife. So we know those are definitely two parts of it. I haven't seen any more notes that really give me anything to work with yet. So we're going to have to go on a thorough little hunt. Let's check this cabinet. You never know. Nope. Oh, it is melty hot as well. Let me know in the comments what like what temperature is like for you guys. It is disgusting here. So hot. Okay, he knows I'm there, so I'm actually going to crouch here. Slowly make my way up now. There's a good chance that he'll just keep... Oh, he didn't. That's good. Right. Let me give these and have a read. See if there's anything else there that might be an answer. Rocks and Butchers. I mean, that doesn't tell me anything. We know that they're the murderer. We're going to go out in fireworks. Hmm. I, I feel like that's not giving me anything that I haven't already got. Need to find any other notes that are hidden around? That would be helpful. I'd say on average, a round takes between 7 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on your logic on the uh, the clues that you find. Sometimes they're a lot easier to, uh, to decipher than others, you know? Definitely sometimes a lot easier than others. Hopefully I don't turn the fuse off by mistake as well. More pills, nothing there. There was nothing in these. No. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Well, don't come in here, sir. I, I highly doubt he's going to come into the cabinet, so we should be all right in here, and we'll just slowly make our way out now. All right, Runner, you stay there. Calm down. <laughs> oh, he wants the booty! You stay there, sir. Okay, you you stay. All right, what else have we got? Let's have a look. There's no notes here. No nothing there. There is a little bug in the game currently as well, where if you jump up onto furniture or beds or on the bath, etc., they can't actually reach you. So I'm purposely not doing that. Just because it makes it a little bit too easy, you know? Okay, we've got lighters. Okay, so maybe the fireworks could be in reference to the lighter and the fuel that was downstairs. I think it was downstairs, mate, or it could have been upstairs. I can't remember exactly, but maybe that could be in reference to that. You know, set a big fire, go out in a blaze of glory. Could be something to do with that. I can try that as an idea. We just need to avoid not getting grabbed again. That's the key thing. We we'll have one more little look around here. There's definitely no note here, just roses. I'd say I'd say that's probably our best option to try right now out of my potential options, you know So we'll give that a go. We'll take the lighter down. We'll go find the fuel again. I know it was downstairs somewhere I don't know where he is currently That is a problem Okay, so he's there and the fuel was down here okay so we're gonna try this i don't know honestly if this is gonna be it oh it was okay so now that that's lit up white he's off he's now off so he's gonna be looking for me there is a one way to speed up this whole process with 
the runner is to find both bells. Once you hit one of them, he goes super speedy, comes running over looking for you. And then you need to find the second bell and link it together. The idea being the loud sound defeats him. Even though he primarily works off of hearing, it's too much for his uh, <laughs> for his little pea, pea brain. But he does have advanced hearing now that we're in the uh, exorcism stage. Go on, you go upstairs. There's got to be a bell down and there's got to be a bell up. Good boy. All right. He just heard me. There's a bell. I feel like that bell is a bit too risky now because he heard me. So you can see Shadow is headed down here. If I hit this bell from that distance, there's a good chance he reaches me, but... Let's do that. Crouch really quick and move. So you can see now we've got a trail behind us, right? He's determined to figure out what that bell is. We've got a little bit of time to get away from it. Sit in a safe spot. And my best bet now is to make my way upstairs. Mm, he's going up. Do you know what? We're going to have a look downstairs. There is a chance the second bell's down, but... I would say more likely it's going to be upstairs. More likely. Right, I'm going to run here. We're not going to make a mistake this time. We're going to get him where we want him and not fuck it up. He didn't even come over, did he? I don't even think he listened to it. Yeah, he's really not listening to it, is he? All right. I mean, that's fine. It's not ideal, though, so we need to go find this bell. There he is. Go on, you keep going left. Keep going left, buddy. Keep going left. Oh, God. So once you do whatever the requirements are for this second stage of exorcism, <clears throat> it will then trap the, uh, trap the ghost. The idea then is you go over to the... Uh, exile table and you can then fully trap him and exile him i don't like that you're coming this way friend like i really don't like that you're coming this way where are you going please don't come down here please don't come down here oh god <laughs> while we're here no no belt i don't think it's going to be in the attic it's more likely it's going to be over there somewhere but oh there it is yeah, I was going to say, it's more likely... Oh, he's actually going straight to it as well. I don't know how to get him out of there. I wonder if... I heard him make a grunt. I just assumed that meant he heard it. Oh, no, he's coming to... Oh, okay. Go away! <laughs> okay this is fine we got this all right we can just get up at this point let's go let's get ourselves in the corner that is two bells down that should be him done because i have no trail left here we go so the bells are too loud for him basically that's what's incapacitating this ghost Now he should get shackled, and then we can go exercise him quickly. Here we go. As I say, each ghost has its own unique way of dealing with it. Once you've got to that stage, though, you just do what I did there. Hold on to that. That will exile. Boom. This house is clear. All right. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. One little mistake that I made. Sometimes the clues can be a little bit, you know, complex and you've got to work them out. What you can see here as well, we had it on level three investigation and level three ghost out of five. So a couple more levels that could have gone higher. A lot of other things that we can try as well. And we will be exploring a lot of it. We're going to show as much as we can about each ghost type as well and go over details. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon.